This felt like stalactites from an overcast sky, on dismal, smoggy, shattered shacks and tenements by the disused tracks. Desultory children kicking gravel, always shunting in straight lines. Boys with nowhere else to go, who'd have rather gone anywhere than back to their homes. Pushed out of prohibited pubs where parents drunk to an early death, innards gurgling with block sink snorts as they drew on dwindling cigarettes. Pushed out of arid parkland peripheries where teenagers nursed their inverse smiles, riddling adults stuck on repeat, armed with pills and pocket knives. The only place left for isolation was a scrapyard on the station sidings, where steam engine shells were stripped and forsaken, engineered elegance wholly destroyed, decommissioned and then retired, ditched without sadness, left to spoil, withdrawn from memory like Boxing Day toys. They used to have games there, Manhunt was favourite, the bravest kids crouching in mechanism cages, hidden for ages and nurturing a secret fascination for gears and pistons. Then there was an accident when they were playing, dodging the night shift delivery transportation. Someone was hit and too badly hurt to stand any chance of clambering away. They were dead before the ambulance came. These days, as parents fight in bars over blame, the broys have grown older and moved away. It's only regret that takes them back, and coincidence that often makes old friends meet. Always after hours, beset with grief, mourning by starlight at the rail carriage graves.